how incredible is it we have all these influencers coming together after the pandemic, right? So, so somewhat after the pandemic, outside. we outside. <laughs> how about how about how about we survived? How about that one, right? We survived. I mean, only just. Yes, but. only just. So how great is it that we're here? We're celebrating this. We're having a great time, and we're doing it for a cause like the Model Citizen Fund, where they're raising money for a charity that builds backpacks for homeless people, people who work uh, who are at um, uh, domestic abuse shelters, orphanages. How wonderful is it that he's do donated so much money to that? I feel like it's just a beautiful you know, cause, and it's amazing that they can get all these people together and donate and change people's lives. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, especially everything that the world has been through. It's so amazing that everyone can get together and celebrate Dan and his charity and be able to donate and really make a change, make a difference. After all this time inside, now we can come outside for the greater good. So it's really beautiful to be here. Absolutely. I feel like, touching on that note, I feel like a lot of people have struggled through the pandemic and a lot of people have str really struggled and we've seen a lot of homelessness and things that are going on within our community and outside your house. So it's so nice to see Dan touching on like a subject that's very personal right now and we're all kind of going through it. So it's so nice to see us all coming together for a really good cause. Can you guys describe how, how much influence Dan has? Like, again, he's he doesn't leave a large, uh, he's kind of low key, but for him to have such a massive footprint to get every every single influencer out here, how great is that? I think, like, just to have an impact like this is very powerful. I mean, this is my first time at one of Dan's events, but to have an impact like this, that you see so many people walking through this door, it's very, I, I'm happy to be here. I'm, I'm very pri privileged to be at a, an event like this, and I'm sure a lot of other people feel the same. Exactly, yeah. We are very thankful to be here and he is an incredible man. He's so genius the way that he can pull everyone together for the greater good and just he makes things happen. He really does. So getting everyone together here, doing it for charity is just such a beautiful moment. It's really, really cool. She is so polished. She should have my job. Yeah. This is incredible. This is this is pretty awesome. Oh gosh, okay, thank you. No. There you go. No, I mean, that's why she's my best friend. That's, so. why she, that's, why, that's why you got this. Can you guys talk about things that you guys have coming up uh, with Unruly or uh, in, in anything you guys have coming up? Uh, with Unruly, personally, I'm I'm TV hosting the the current show, yeah. um, OnlyFans TV Unlocked. I'm the TV host, okay. which I, I got through Unruly, so I'm really grateful that I have uh, got an opportunity to be on a show and it spread on an amazing platform that has great people involved and I, I'm just privileged to be surrounded by, look at these people, I mean you already <laughs> met the owners, now you meet my best friends, like how could you not love what you, we, the world we're living in? How could Absolutely. you not? And you just, you're, you're just newly with them? Uh, no, I've been with them for okay. a little bit but I'm looking forward to starting the OFTV and doing more fitness content on the platform and yeah, and just hanging out with everyone. Yeah, being with Unruly Agency is definitely life changing for every person involved. Um, through them, I was able to get an OFTV show myself that's a travel show. So basically, I go around the world and feature amazing hotels, whether it be like um, Overwater Bungalows in Maldives, the Giraffe Hotel in Africa, Dubai Penthouses, anywhere. It's very cool, and that's all through Unruly. So thank you to them. Her show is called The FOMO Is Real. <laughs> Are that's you what serious? It should be called, should be called The FOMO <laughs> Is Real. Guys, yeah, it's. You can, you can find it though on OnlyFans. Uh, on OnlyFans TV, yeah. and her name's Lauren Blake, so look her up. She, yeah, she crushes. It's she it's crushes. Uh, travel with Lauren, but then Casey also has one that's um, OFTV Unlocked, right? Yes. Yes. So oh, look at our best there. friends having each other up. <laughs> look what Anne really does to us. So we can help it. <laughs> I'm excited for this. I'm excited to have the three of you on my podcast, too. All right, guys, take care. We're so happy to have everybody here. There is so much pizza. The carb loading begins. We go downstairs. We go down the slide. We get in the jumpy house. And when we watch Lil Wayne, we watch DJ Irie, and we watch Steve Aoki. Stay tuned.